Armando Barran. Many people know me as Chambe or Tata Chambe. And um, I wanted to create a video in which I can share with the world um, my experience and how I came about entering into La Ocha and my connection with the Orisha Shango. We all have a story, we all have our history. And many of us fail to recognize that through our trials and tribulations is how that story and that history is actually written. And I look back now and I can relate and understand why I went through those trials and tribulations. Because now I use that as the form of expression to those who come and, and seek help from me or that I need to guide them to someone else that need the help. And when my experiences and, and my you know, um, trials and tribulations that I went through, um, I can share with them like, what I went through when I see that they're going in through similar patterns and you know they connect with that. So I wanted to you know create something in which you know in, in a positive way um, you know my connection with, with this whole thing you know with, with the religion and how beautiful it is. When I first started I, I actually started off on El Espiritismo, uh, spiritualism. I had a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine that's like a sister to me and she knew that I needed some help spiritually and she came and she talked to me about you know spiritualism I at the time looked at her like she had six heads I didn't understand anything and but I was open to it you know to, to see what it was and and you know um, to receive the help so I went she took me to um, this couple's house that one the man has Obatala crown and the lady has Yamaya crown and together they helped me out spiritually. And because of that, you know, that my friend took me to these people, um, that opened up a whole new world for me. Because then I gained the interest of, of seeing the outcome of everything that they did. And, you know, I was like, wow, it was very, it was, you know, it, was, it, was, it just felt right. So I started my journey there. And I started going through, you know, a lot of good things, a lot of bad things, my ups and downs. I met a lot of great people. You know, along the way, I've seen you know, the loss of a lot of good people. And ultimately, you know, I, I learned, you know, um, you know, about the religion and, and, and started my, um, my road, you know. And I remember as, as a young kid, um, I was about maybe nine, ten years old. And a relative of mine took me to what now I understand what it is, but then I just saw it just as a, a fiesta, you know, a, a drumming. That's, that's all that's, I at that time understood. And it took me to this fiesta, this tambor, and I remember seeing this, um, everybody dressed all in white, as I am. And I remember this man sitting down in a wheelchair. And... You know, from what I, I understand, this man was paralyzed, he couldn't walk. So, there was a man there who was uh, singing, um, whether it was Jerubin or Lukumi, and he was singing uh, chants to, to the Orisha Shango. And by doing so, the, the, the power within his, his, his singing and the power, the unity of all the old Orishas there, and the power of, of Shango, period. I remember this man that was paralyzed getting up. And he got up, and, you know, through a struggle, he walked. He walked from where he was sitting on, on, on his wheelchair. He got up and was able to walk to where the drummers were. And I remember seeing this, and I was, you know, at the time I really wasn't understanding because I was a kid. You know, I, I went along because I had no choice, you know. But um, it was a beautiful thing, and I remember that being my first experience ever, you know, that I can look back and, like, I remember I did this. And then, you know, along many years to come, um, I became, you know, uh, really more into the religion because of a friend of mine who was a percussionist, who is a percussionist, and also an Olorisha. He has uh, a Legua crown, beautiful Orisha, and 
every time he played the drums, I tagged along with him, you know, and, and, and wanted to learn, and, you know, I, I was always with him. So he knew that I was into El Espiritismo, you know, and then uh, dealing with Mesa Blanca and, and the Centros, you know, and hooking up with a lot of people that were into it, you know. And he wanted to take me into the drumming so I could, you know, experience it now as an adult. So, uh, as a teenager. So I went with him, and when I went, I walked into this house, and I remember there was a drumming for a uh, Yawo that had been just crowned Yamaya. And he took me there. When I walked in, I saw a lot of people that I recognized from, actually, from the school. But at that time, in, in the 80s, late 80s and early 90s, everything with the religion was, was hush-hush. It's not open and more liberal as it is now. You know, so everything back then, everything was done in the hush hush, you know. And um, I remember walking in and seeing all these familiar faces, and I was like, wow, you know, it's, you know I felt comfortable, you know, because I, I recognized a lot of people. So I go in and I, I hear the music, you know, and then I love the sound of the music, you know, the drums and, and the, the people singing and, and the coro, the chorus, you know. And somehow I ended up catching the attention of the Orisha that, that was down at the time. And what I mean down is through possession. Okay, the Orisha, you know, I, I caught his eye and the Orisha approached me. And when he approached me, I didn't know what was going on. I just see this, this I see a man, you know, staring at me and, and starting to talk to me in a language that was, you know, that I didn't understand. So my friend was interpreting to me and uh, the Orisha says to me, do you know who I am? And I said, no, I don't know. So would you like to know who I am? And I said, sure, and, you know, respectfully, yes, I would like to, to know who you are. And I remember his words to me, he said to me, before you know who I am, you need to know who is Egu. And I said, okay. And he said to me, continue doing what you're doing with Egu, that you will evolve. And you have a very long, beautiful road ahead of you. I said, okay, you know, thank you. So my friend says to me, um, you know, he interprets everything, you know, what was said to me, and I understood. And then at the end, uh, you know, um, the Sodisha, you know, just looked at me up and down as if, you know, like, he was coping me out. My friend said, throw myself. I, I didn't understand what he meant by throw myself, but, you know, he explained to me, you know, to lay down my stomach flat. And the Orisha blessed me and, and picked me up and he hugged me. And it felt so good to, to uh, have, that, have that experience with an Orisha, uh, excuse me, with an Orisha uh, hugging you and, and, you know, speaking to you. And as he walked away, he turned around and he just stopped and looked at me. Then he looked up in the ceiling as if looking up into the sky. And I remember him screaming three times. And when he finished screaming, he looks at me and he says, and I know all my children. And I was like, wow. I said, okay. Thank you. And he went on and, and I enjoyed the, the music uh, that was playing and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful religion. And I went through, you know, my, my journey, I went through many years of uh, trials and tribulations, you know, and, and just simply just living life, you know, and, and going through, you know, some heartaches and everything, you know, but, you know, life is not all about smiles either. You know, I, I went through a lot, and um, maybe 17 years later, um, I was ready and and very deep into the religion, and it was my time to to shine and and be able to uh, be initiated into the religion and become a Yahoo. Ironically, um, my whole point is uh, of this little story is that um, that Orisha that turned around and said to me, I know all my children. Well, that Orisha is the Orisha that I was ultimately born from. And it was Shango. I, I was born from that very same Shango that said to me, and I know all my children. So, you know, you never know when you're entertaining an Orisha or an Orisha is ever entertaining you out there. And who knew that little, you know, to be that I would end up being born from that very Shango. And 
it was, I have to say that I have a Bacala crown in my mother's gym and um, the Orisha, the Shango, has, has kept me off the streets and, and, and very intrigued into the religion and, and the music. You know, I, I love the music and I wanted to put together, you know, um, the, uh, the actual, you know, music and, and, and how beautiful it sounds, you know, and it's a beautiful, beautiful religion that sometimes it's even hard to express because it's, it's just so beautiful, you know, and, and I, I was fortunate enough to be born, you know, um, initiated into uh, the religion through a beautiful family. And my godfather is, is a lot more than just my godfather, you know, he's, he's my mentor and my dad really, you know, because he raised me and I look, to, look up to him as, as a father and very important to me and I was blessed to have a lot of good brothers and a lot of good sisters, you know, and um, it, it's still by far the best experience that I'm still going through, you know, and, and from back then to, to now, the little bit of knowledge that I, I, I gained is 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 just so pure and 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 worth going through everything that I went through, you know, to learn the little bit that I learned, and I wanted to share with with the world, you know, uh, some music and you know all that good stuff from from the religion, and you know, in a positive way. So I really hope that you get to um, enjoy. Benisoma um, Mayore and Santo to to all the menores and uh, Ashe. Hi, my name is Mary Ann. I'm a child of Chengro. Um, my family's, all of my family is in the Osha religion. Um, I've been in it for 11 years. Before I decided to make Ocha, I was not in the right path. I was going down the wrong path. Um, until I had a consultation with my padrino, Chambe, and he told me the way it is. And had I not done Ocha, I wouldn't be here today. Uh, I also have my family to thank. They've been there for me through thick and thin. My other padrino, Manny, as well as my brother. And um, I'm glad I did what I did. I, I look back and I, from what I was and to what I am today, couldn't get any better than this. I'm happy. I'm proud to be a child of Shango.